Well, yeah. And even like when I came in here and I looked at my list last night before I went to bed and I like checked the boxes on the things that I had set out to do. And there's, there were two things on there that I didn't get to do yesterday, but I simply just ran out of time. And I, I had to sit there and I was like, you know, it, it's okay. I was like, I still won the day. I still completed more of the tasks than I did three out of five uh, for the things to move the businesses forward. So I was like, all right, I still won, but it's it, like I didn't slaughter. It wasn't 100 to zero is how I was looking at it. But, you know, you, <laughs> you have to be happy with the small victories. Yes, right. you're right. And, that, and that's the thing is just like, you know, you like you, if you can check the box and say you won the day, then all right, cool. And if you check the box and you, you, you lost, it was like, all right, well, then what can you do differently? You know, with yesterday, uh, there's literally nothing I could have done differently because the, the job took control of the day for you know, 13 freaking hours. Um, and that's just where it was at. And then well, my mind immediately went and was like, all right, well, then we'll just do double tomorrow. No, I was like, you're going to go ahead and do the task. And, you know, one of the main things that I want to make sure that I focused on after the first round of 75 heart that I did last time, oh, two times ago, three times ago, whatever it was, is that all the other stuff took the majority of my time and my wife felt neglected. And so it was like, I started to like write down, was like, all right, so we're gonna, no, Friday's date night. All right, so, you know, that's that task. We'll still do one. We'll we'll, we'll keep the normal pattern. My wife has something that she says to me. Some and I, and I think it's her way of trying to piss me off. You know, um, she goes, "It's okay. I understand it wasn't important for you." Fuck. Yeah. It's that's basically says. Don't worry about it, you know. Uh, I'll take care of it. <laughs> and, uh, and it's one of those. It's a, it's, to me, it's a kick in the balls. To me, it's a kick in the balls because anything that she has to say or has to do with anything, it is important to me. It really is. Mm -hmm. But if I have other things that I need to prioritize at that time, at that time, it's just. So she literally will tell me the truth to my face. She's like, I, it's okay. Listen, I understand that this isn't important for you. This isn't, you know, because if it was, I'd stop what I'm doing and go prioritize that if it was the most important thing, you know? When, okay, so here's my question. So when do you, fuck like I, I i'm having a brain fart here because we have this thing dude like this idea this vision of ourselves to be our better selves to this end or to growth or every time and it doesn't matter if it, you know, you can be the most average guy. You can be the most obscene guy. You can be, it doesn't fucking matter. We all have an idea of something. And once something starts to become hard, then we have a tendency just to fucking let go because it becomes less important. It is more important. You know, so it wasn't important enough for you. It may be important enough for somebody else. When do you, I can't, you can't, Never mind. It's just, you can't because you have to, you have to be good with yourself before you can be good with anybody else. You have to be, you have to be in peace with yourself first before you can maximize and give somebody what they're needing of you. Because if you're always giving and giving and giving and giving, and you're not giving, you're not doing for yourself, you're depleting.